Vienna is overflowing with music and culture. In fact, when we arrived at the airport, there was another orchestra boarding a bus just right next to ours about to go on their own tour. It's such a privilege to visit this city where so much of our repertoire was written and premiered and really is tied to the life here. To see the final residences of Mozart and Schubert, to visit the graves of so many important composers, and of course, to add our musical voice to this incredibly rich tapestry. Tonight, the Toronto Symphony is performing in the Grosso Saal of this beautiful concert house built in 1913. It's actually one of five halls within this building that can be having a concert at the same time. It's really such a pleasure for us to come into a beautiful space like this, of course, to test the energy, to see how much sound and resonance this hall has, and perhaps even more exciting and risky is to see how much we can bring the audience to stage and play as quiet as we can. Of course, we love making music at beautiful spaces like here at the Concert House in Vienna. But we have an ethos in the Toronto Symphony that if you work hard, you also should play hard. So to burn off a little steam the other night, we went to Prater, which is an amusement park, which has an incredible go-kart set up, and uh, we were able to burn off a little steam. 